Throughout history, many shocking and bizarre deaths have impacted society. Yet, revisiting these stories reminds us that life is fragile and unpredictable. Furthermore, they leave us with a sense of appreciation for our mortality. So with that in mind, let's not wait any longer. I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 of the most shocking and bizarre deaths in history. Twenty-five. Man drowns at pool party of 100 plus lifeguards. There are ironic deaths, and then there's this. At the end of the 1985 summer season, the New Orleans Recreation Department wanted to celebrate their lifeguards after no one drowned all summer. So, a massive pool party took place. Unfortunately, even though most partygoers were lifeguards, no one saw one of their guests, a 31-year-old man named Jerome Moody, drowning at the bottom of the pool. No one found him until the end of the party. 24. Franz Reichelt, the Flying Tailor Franz Reichelt was very confident about his new parachute. He was so optimistic that he tested it by jumping off the Eiffel Tower without any safety support. Let's be realistic here. What could go wrong? Everything. Just everything. 23. Sir William Payne Galway dies by turnip. A British MP way back in the 1800s, Sir William Payne Galway was a fond hunter. One day, while he was out on a hunt, he ran through a turnip field, fell over, and landed on an enormous turnip. The impact caused internal bleeding, and he died. 22. Aeschylus killed by a tortoise. In a blow to bald men everywhere, the Greek playwright Aeschylus left his house for a walk, fearing the roof might fall on him, because he, of course you do, only to meet his end. An eagle spotted his shiny bald head and mistook it for a rock. The eagle was carrying a tortoise to eat, but had to crack the shell, uh-oh, so it dropped it on Aeschylus' head, killing him almost instantly. Death by flying turtle. Oh, okay. Didn't see that coming. Neither did he. 21. Owner of Segway Company drives Segway off a cliff. Coming back with another ironic death, a British investor got more than his money's worth with his purchase of a Segway Company. Jimmy Heseldon had just bought the company and tried to test out a model, only to swiftly drive it off an 80-foot cliff and plummet to his death. 20. Woman awakes in coffin, panics, and dies of heart attack. In 2012, a Russian woman woke up in the middle of an open casket wake. Talk about a shock. A few people probably fainted. Pronounced dead by doctors, she was rushed to a hospital after a heart attack. Doctors confirmed her death, and the process to bury her again began. 19. Death row inmate escapes. He is beaten to death that night in a bar fight. It's pretty impressive to escape death row, and Troy Leon Gregg, with three other convicts, escaped from prison in Georgia. They crossed the border into North Carolina and went to a bar to celebrate, where Gregg got into a bar fight and was killed. 18. Zeuxis, Death by Laughter Is laughter the best medicine? Well, not if you're Zeuxis. He had a commission for a portrait of Aphrodite. The catch? Well, the elderly lady who commissioned it wanted to pose for it as well. Zeuxis laughed at the finished painting so much that he died. 17. Eliezer of Aaron. Death by Elephant. A soldier in the 2nd BCE Maccabean Revolt, Eliezer of Aaron was fighting in his brother's army. He successfully killed the king's war elephant with a triumphant spear to the stomach. But... Unfortunately, the dying elephant had its revenge by falling on Eliezer and killing him. 16. Steve Irwin filming Ocean's Deadliest Most people probably know about Steve Irwin. Irwin faced many dangers while filming his show Ocean's Deadliest, including close encounters with some of the world's most dangerous animals. On September 4th, 2006, he was filming on Australia's Great Barrier Reef when a stingray barb pierced his heart. His death stunned the world and sent shockwaves throughout the global conservation community. I bawled my eyes out that day. He was absolutely one of my heroes. He will be greatly missed, will be, is, has been, will continue to be greatly missed. What an amazing human being. 
and the world is darker without him. 15. Lawyer acquits his defendant by shooting himself to death in court. In the early 1800s, American justice was a dangerous game. Lawyer Clement Vallandigham defended one of his clients in an Ohio courtroom under extraordinary circumstances. He reenacted what would have been the client's suicide with what he thought would be an unloaded gun. However, it was not as unloaded as he thought. Uh, it was loaded. He proved his case, but he also sacrificed his life. 14. Marcus of Arethusa stung to death. Have you seen Wicker Man? Whether or not you know about it, this death is horrific. Marcus of Arethusa was hung in a honey-drenched wicker basket by his enemies where the bees stung him to death. Whew, rough. If your enemies go out of their way to find a basket, honey, and a ton of bees in a remote place, they must have really hated you. 13. Death by your own beard. I've seen some impressive beards in my time, but Hans Staniger, the mayor of Braunau, had a four and a half foot long beard that he normally kept in a leather pouch. Yeah, why not? <laughs> when his town caught fire, <laughs> he tried to escape, but tripped over his beard and snapped his neck, dying instantly. 12. Activist dies of stroke after reading a premature obituary of himself. When you see someone describe you as broke, alone, and unpopular in a huge newspaper, you might be slightly upset. When it's in your obituary and you're still alive, it's even worse. So much so, it caused Marcus Garvey to suffer two strokes and actually die. 11. Snoring yourself to death. Snoring is annoying, and many of us try different things to fix it. One man decided to try and fix it by putting two tampons up his nose. Yeah, you heard that right. Unsurprisingly, he suffocated to death. Just in case you didn't know, uh, don't sleep with stuff rammed right up your nose. Didn't think I had to tell anyone that. 10. When dogs fly. We've all heard the saying, when pigs fly, and earlier, flying turtles. But in Buenos Aires, a dog fell out of a 13th floor window and landed on an elderly woman on the street below, killing her. If that wasn't enough, a couple of onlookers were hit by a bus, killing one of them. Just really not a good day all around. 9. A Coffin Avalanche Good storage systems are important for any business. I'll tell that to the coffin maker, Mark Borgade, who was killed when a whole stack of coffins fell on him. Luckily, one of the coffins that fell on him eventually became his resting place. Oh, is that lucky? Oh my. Eight, Antiphanes killed by pear. When Galileo had an apple fall on his head, he discovered gravity. When the Greek poet Antiphanes had a pear fall on his head, he died. Go figure. Although I'm not sure how tall a tree has to be or how hard a pear has to be to cause a fatal impact, but you know. 7. Royal Gluttony Palaces are well known to be full of extravagances, but Adolf Frederick, King of Sweden, took it to a whole other level. In the late 1700s, the king had a feast unlike any other, with caviar, lobster, herring, champagne, and 14 portions of dessert. He literally ate himself to death. 6. Death by Gift Suffocation Some people love to be surrounded by adoring fans, but Sometimes that can be lethal. Draco of Athens was an Aegean lawmaker, loved by the citizens. So much so, he was actually suffocated by the gifts they lauded on him at one event. Yikes. Just, if you see me in public, just come say, hey, please don't suffocate me. I'll, I'll talk to you. Take pic I've taken pictures with people. I've signed literally one autograph. Come say hello. Please don't suffocate me. I, I beg of you. I've grown rather fond of living. 5. Prisoner escapes electric chair. Accidentally electrocutes himself. Ironically, Michael Anderson Godwin, a convicted murderer and sexual assaulter, had appealed his sentence down from the electric chair to a life sentence, only to electrocute himself on his metal toilet. Wet from a shower with fraying headphones that he was biting and the metal of the toilet. That is a recipe for disaster. 4. Death by a remote-controlled plane 
Plane crashes often have a lot of victims, but remote controlled planes? Not usually. That is, unless you're Roger Wallace from Arizona, he was flying his remote controlled plane and lost sight of it. Suddenly it hit him in the head going 40 miles an hour, killing him almost instantly. Three, killed by a beheaded man. It might sound like a fantasy story to be killed by a beheaded man, but it actually happened to Sigurd the Mighty, a 9th century Norse Earl of Orkney. After a ferocious battle where he decapitated an enemy, he rode home with the head attached to his saddle as a prize. Unfortunately, one of the dead man's teeth grazed his leg, giving him an infection that would eventually kill him. Well, he definitely got his revenge. 2. Health Fanatic Killed by Carrot Juice we all go on a health kick from time to time, jumping on the next big wellness fad. Well, a man named Basil Brown took this to the next level by drinking a gallon of carrot juice every single day, believing it was making him healthier. It actually killed him. And no, there are no rumors of him being able to see in the dark either. 1. The Great Beer Flood To some people, dying by drowning in beer might sound like the best way to go. But in London in 1814, it actually happened. When a huge vat burst in a brewery, 3,500 barrels worth of beer spilled out onto the streets of London, creating a hoppy flood. All in all, eight people died either by drowning or slipping and falling. Definitely not a good way to go out. So, what would be your least favorite way to go out? I don't know, what a weird question for a list like this. Can't really think of any happy questions for this. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. Or, you know what, tweet your answers to us at List25, check out our Instagram, check out all of our social medias. Um, it, as always, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any content, including those shorts. Come into our Discord, we're growing that slowly, and if you can, please think of becoming a member, that way you can help support us so that we can keep bringing this amazing content to you. Uh, as always, I love you guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.